This episode is brought to you by Revital U via Heather Baker. Revital U's Magic Brew will give you energy, focus, and aid in weight loss. Revital U Smart Coffee is changing lives every day. Request a sample by emailing Heather. Learn. See, listen. This what I tell him. Sir. I've been grinding for so long. I wake up and chase my goals. You're in the right, you in the right place. You checking out? Chip Baker. The success card. Conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream. Dig deep, go out and get it. Success Chronicles. Compete until it's finished. Success Chronicles. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles, and we're here with Mr. Pierre Corner uh, at Duvin Pintor. And as you see, it's a really nice uh, place here, and um, I'll, I'll let him talk more about that. But really, doing some great things here uh, downtown Houston, and I'm so thankful uh, for t that you're taking the time for to to join the show today. Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate okay. It. All right. I've, I've watched the show, and it's you got a cool thing going. So uh, it's my pleasure. All right. Well, talk to us about your life story. You know where you're from, and you know kind of track it up until now. So I'm um, uh, born and raised um, Chicago, okay, by way of San Diego. Okay. <clears throat> uh, was a uh, football player. Uh, End up going to University of Utah, played football, played tailback there, mm -hmm. got a degree in philosophy, and um, over the period be became, you know, an entrepreneur, um, just never wanting to really work for nobody. Didn't, didn't, there you go. Wasn't, <laughs> wasn't cool with that. Yeah. And so, I, w I, you know, my whole life I've just been prepared for this moment um I, I coached through this process so i stay with with my uh natural nature uh, which is football mm -hmm. and um however i was multi-talented i was a three-sport athlete um, up until college and um had a great career at utah had a lot of fun went to ball games um, and i uh, got into the business platform by a few different things I, I learned from a uh, uh, Benny Smith um, at the time taught me a lot about you know how to structure a business and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know sent me through the gambit <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, still had to bump my head and yeah. and win and lose and win and lose mm -hmm. and, and then you know finally it, it came to fruition with the right people in my life Okay. You know, some some people that that I you know have come across, um, uh, silently have helped change my my life. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate those people. They know who they are. Okay. Well, as far as your career, kind of, you know, as you got to this, can you talk a little bit about that? As far as some of the things that you've uh, done. So I uh, um, I did. I was a part of. Um, one of the first summer jams in Utah. Yeah, and that was um, that was a big deal. Um, in, in, in college, I, I booked a lot of entertainment, mm -hmm. so that kind of got me in the entertainment field. Um, uh, I uh, partnered with three other guys and opened up uh, um, 
a company called Epicenter Entertainment, and we did a series of concerts in Park City, uh, one being LL Cool J. I mean, it was milestones that, that had never happened. Yeah. Um, Talib Kweli, Rihanna. Uh, I mean, we did Rihanna before she was Rihanna. Riri. Yeah, before she was Riri. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so it kind of taught me the, the, the music game and, yeah. and you know, uh, which put me in position to be, you know, deal with sponsors, right. you know, and, and that kind of thing. So, it, it, you know, it kind of taught me the, the entertainment field. Um, and I kind of start building upon that, you know, and it put me in an arena of, of, you know, arts and music and, you know, the, the, that, that gambit, um, yeah. on the storefront, you know, um, and it created, um, you know, where I'm at today. Okay. All right. What are, what are three things you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of? Um, I, I guess the first one is I've, and I'm a backtrack. Okay. I, f I found out that uh, gratitude is the most important thing in life. Just being grateful for the people yeah. around you. No like doubt. The people, you know, your mom, your dad, the, you know, the coach that said the right thing or the person that <clears throat> gave you the start. It, it, that, that gratefulness is is the most important thing to start change is gratitude and you know, i learned that i learned that this is later life you're going you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah right yeah um that's one of them uh, playing at uh, uh sweetwater high school um i learned incredible uh how to how to be a football guy? How to be uh, honorable to the sport? <clears throat> My coach Gene Alem, um, you know, we won a lot of games, you know, big games, championships. I mean, my my school was storied, mm -hmm. um, similar to a Katie out here. Right. Um, and then I'm going back. Um, my family in Chicago um, is close. That that is like the catalyst of you know, becoming something, um, you know, that, that is, uh, my, my family, my mom's, uh, brothers and sisters, my uncles, uh, my uncle Reggie, and, you know, they, they, you know, my uncle Greg, he, um, got rested, so he, he just passed, uh -huh. but it's, a, it was, it, my family, you know, helped that second and third generation to, to grow. Yeah. And um, and then I got a bonus that I'm you know I'm a part of Omega South Fire Fraternity Incorporated, and that was one that's one of the greatest experiences of my life because I have a network around the world, um, and and again, we we about service and helping yeah. people and 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 so that was that's those those things are things that you're proud of yeah proud of yeah okay. What's your definition of success? My definition of success would be when you're in position mm -hmm. to help everyone around you. That's success for me. Where I can literally take and change a life like that. That's success. Yeah, it's good stuff. What do you think it takes to achieve success? Um, <clears throat> I used to think it was like hard work. I thought it was like, oh yeah, you got to, you know, you got to work hard. You got to, uh -huh. you got to grind. <laughs> it's a sport, it's football, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. grind. You know, we, <laughs> we get caught up in the whole the grind. Yeah, yeah. But I don't even use that word no more. Mm -hmm. I I try not to use anything that has friction mm. right friction is not a good thing it's not a good thing so if you put that out there that's what's going to happen mm. i don't want friction if you say that this is the easy way to go i'm going to walk the easy way <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> right? That's it. I don't want that friction. I don't believe you learn by bumping your head and all that. I think that's the biggest hoax in the world. I that's think funny. people that don't want you to get to where you get want, need to go, they mm -hmm. put road bumps in front of you. And people that want to help you get to where you want to go. They have laid a pad for you. Yeah, Facebook. Dude said, this is a great product. Somebody gave him $240 million. You're going to win. There's no, You have no way to lose. There's no losing in that, yeah. right? But if somebody came and said, well, here's a hundred grand to do that, you'd be like, man, I can't, well, I can't make it happen like that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's it. So <clears throat> it's about, it's water. It's Bruce Lee, right? He say, you know, it's water. Like, I want things to be real easy. I don't want them to be hard at all. I don't think that builds character. I think that builds stress, anger, frustration, a sense of not being able to. I can make things easier for you. It breeds more freedom to be creative. Mm. Right? It's a good perspective. Yeah, we, 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 we're less creative. I mean, it's like a musician. <clears throat> if that dude ain't got to worry about money, He'll be creating masterpieces all day long. But when he got to worry about eating and money and all this stuff, and you know, he, that's what his focus is. You know, and I'm not saying hard, hard times don't come from great writing and things like that. Right. You know, I'm not saying that. But <clears throat> you need, things need to flow. You know, yeah. And that energy needs to be, you know, a more smoother energy. You know, and no friction. No friction. Okay. Friction. I. Don't, I just. The word itself means it's things bad is happening. Mm -hmm. Right. So talk to us about your place here. You know, tell us if you could just tell us where it is and hours and those kind of things because you know, like this is it's a really good thing and people need to see it. So we're down here, uh, 1401 Caroline. Um, I could throw a rock and hit the Toyota Center. Um, a two minute walk from the House of Blues. Um, we're on the corner of Clay um, and Caroline. And Duvan Pintour uh, was created um, by myself, um, uh, Camille Hicks, um, brought the idea to fruition by wanting to bring a social dynamic to wine and art and have them uh, mix. mix. And, <clears throat> and People do wine and art, but it's still in like more sterile environments. Well, by nature, I believe artists are minimalists. And so we wanted a, you know, uh, upscale, minimalist feel. Uh, she's a wine sommelier and I have a art background uh, in entertainment and this functionality kind of came by way of that thought process. Um, and this venue is 14 different artists. And we approach the, the artists from a, almost like a management standpoint. You know, it's not just, it's more than just their fine art and those creations. They could do a lot more stuff. So we want to license and license pieces. We want to put them in, in, um, in uh, you know, commercials and, and, and different uh, uh, dynamics that allow for them to uh, flourish as an artist, to build their brand also. So it's a unified thing to help mm -hmm. grow the artist, Devin Pintour, um, it's uh, you know, several revenue streams here. We have a membership platform, both VIP and corporate. Um, the, the ultimate goal is to scale this business and open up 13 around the co country. So Devin Pintour is a culture. It is a, um, a dynamic of excellence, diversity, that allows for people to have a space to go in that is not a club, you know. We are a, we are a culture of of excellence, right? Um, and and that's that's the ultimate goal. And 
you know, we, 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 we also do events in here. You can book the space to do events. Mm -hmm. uh, we're very selective on right. who that is and how that works. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> but it is a, a, a dynamic um, atmosphere, you know. And then we have day-to-day -day service. We open up at 10 o'clock and we close um, at 12. And people say, man, that was long hours. It was really not. Somebody come in here at 12 and happen to see the right piece. So you yeah, can't really close. Right, yeah. it's a good day. So, yeah. you know, it doesn't end around here. And people come in and they, they sit down and and they, you know, they get on the computer. You know, they mm -hmm. eat, they have meetings in here. Um, they come in and relax. Um, you know, some of the law students, some of the lawyers, they come down and relax um, to, you know, to unwind before they get on the road. You know, it's just a uh, uh, what 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 we what we've since called a, a vortex. Mm -hmm. When you walk in here, it, you're in a different space. Yeah, it's gonna feel different. It's gonna act different, and it allows you to to you know warm down before you, you know, from from the rigmarole. It's it's yeah. you know it's a different. It's more than just a, an art gallery. It's it's a peaceful place. So. How does the process of uh, getting art into the building work? Because, you know, you have a lot of pretty cool art. And, you know, we were, when I came in the building, you know, I introduced myself and talked a little bit. And I was just walking around checking it out, amazed, you know. But so, how, does that, how does that happen? So, you, um, everybody has someone that is an artist. So, I mean, it's not really hard to gather, um, you know, artists, you know. Um, so, uh, Alicio, who's one of the artists, he's also the curator of the building. Okay. Um, his experience is vast. He's, he went to OU, got a degree in art, um, and he's, he's multi-talented. The dude's an installer. Um, he's a you know, contractor. He does all these things that apply to this space and all the other spaces to come and so uh alicio is a um was was able to bring the vision of what the building look will, will look like when it comes to the art piece mm -hmm. um, that's why you see things hanging and floating and and all that kind of stuff um, um i have a team that is incredible. Um, Daryl, which is my gatekeeper, uh, one of my liaisons, uh, uh, Lonnie, uh, my uh, bar manager is not a bar manager. He's, we, we joke with him. He has multiple degrees. We have the smartest um, <laughs> bar manager. He's more of a bar manager than mm -hmm. anything. Um, I mean, he's more of a I don't know what you call him, but he's the smartest guy behind a bar that I've been yeah. around. And he's probably the smartest in the building. Dr. Bar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, uh, one of the VPs is um, uh, Chris Williams, which is uh, DJ Cruise Control. Um, he is a music exec, so the background is vast. Um, I talked about Camille Hicks. Um, uh, we got a gentleman by the name of Sharp who is... Uh, who's, um, you know, our, our sales, and uh, he's a liaison. Um, he has, he's a dude that has constituents. Yeah. That's how strong he is from that, from that position. Um, you know, we just have a, we just have a, a, a credible group of people um, that's a part of this dynamic. And, and, um, and I definitely I wanted to say that because it's, yeah. they, they're they're important. I can't do any of this without any of them. Yeah, and, and that you know the, the big picture is you know when you look at anything you know no success is achieved alone. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and and you, and you talked about you know like be, like being grateful, and you know you you have to be grateful in order to 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 have great things happen to you. You know you have to you know humble yourself and. And help others, you know, as a quote by Zig Ziglar, he says that if you help enough people get the things you want, you get the things you, you know, they want, you get the things you want. Exactly. And, and I like that. wholeheartedly. Yeah. You know, wholeheartedly. And then when you, when you realize in life that 
you know, and this is not grammatically correct. <laughs> we got degrees and everything, but it ain't about you. Right. <laughs> you know, you, you know, you yeah, know, it, 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 it ain't about you. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, and, and speaking of that, my mom is one of the artists and artists in the building. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's not about me. Like, yeah. you know, I mean, what a blessing for, you know, our oldest son to be able to put her in a, in a space, in a platform and, and give her the opportunity to sell her fine art i mean this yeah. yeah this this is you know this is this is real cool <laughs> yeah yeah so big you know, time what yeah. what a great way to give back yeah and show you're grateful for the things that she's done for you yeah. yeah yeah so it's i mean thank you mom thank you uh my team at duvin pinchur all you guys are uh incredibly awesome and and you know and all the silent people that's that's involved um with this whole thing um from the background and the support, you know, yeah. um, I got some real quality people that's in my corner that has, uh, you know, YZ, Chuck Chillout, Leon. Um, Thinking of a master plan, YZ, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Leon, uh, the actor, Leon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chuck Chillout, the DJ. Um, uh, my, my crew at Mo City Fitness. Jim, uh, I can't name all of them, but yeah, you know that crew, uh, D, Tony, all these people have been a part of my life. Uh, Neil Laminate, yeah, right. You're here because of because of him. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And uh, you know, like I said, um, you know, I got my, I got my 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 big my big guy, you know, and and his beautiful wife, and they are incredible can't say yeah. the name but they you know who you are they are part of uh this family and this mm -hmm. will grow into a, a, a incredible experience for people and uh and we want to give back and, and and make some changes in this this little crazy world we, we got going on <laughs> yeah. love love all my kids and, and you know this is a, you know this is a chance for me to yeah. Give back to my children and stuff too. A legacy. Yeah, yeah. Reggie, Rip, River, Willow, and Forrest. And, and it's definitely very nice. And so, just wanted to make sure that you, know, you got a chance to talk about your deal because, like, y you need to come check it out. It's it's really nice place. And uh, again, thank you so much for taking the time to interview with the Chronicles. And uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. Thank you. Thanks to Heather and Revival U for sponsoring this episode of the Success Chronicles.